Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new episode of Sniper Sundays. Uh, this is episode 10. So if you haven't watched the other episodes, do check them out. Um, some trades may still be relevant, some swing trades. So yeah, do check out the other episodes and definitely check out um, Watch This Wednesdays for every, uh, the midweek update, basically. So in this week's episode, we have four pairs, um, some buys, some sells, some long-term, some short-term. And I'm just gonna be breaking down some clean chart analysis for you. Um, so yeah, let's just get stuck into it. So first we have EuroCAD. This is what I'm seeing so like right now. And by the end of this video, I basically want to be explaining, uh, I want you to understand why I'm, how I'm seeing this and how I'm getting this. So you might be you know, a beginner or you might be someone who's been trading for a while, but you know, you might, you might trade it, you might do your analysis in a different way. So this could be a good, um, video for you to watch just to see another point of view um, and just see another person's analysis really. So this is what I'm seeing right now and I'm about to break it down, clear the chart and explain to you why I'm seeing this. So I remove drawings and I always go from the top top down so it'd be like you know monthly, weekly, daily um, etc. But on this instance obviously price is just kind of doing not doing much really so we go on to the daily and we can see what's going on. So I can clearly see that there's uh, like a selling trend line in play here and there's a, des a descending trend line in play. Well, it would, it would have been there. So this is where I had it, okay? So you probably think, oh, why is he put it there? Because you see one touch, two touch, and then we're looking for the third touch for some kind of reaction. But all that happened here was it had one touch, two touch, three touch, came back down and it's broken out. It's broken out to the upside. So it's, it's, it's a break and retest basically. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit more. Zoom in a little bit more, what, what are we saying? So I can clearly see there's another, well, there's a mini trend on here, one touch, two touch, three touch. Okay, third touch is our favorite probability to take a trade, right? So I'm gonna, so you can clearly see there's these two trend lines, you're probably thinking, oh, I don't know which one, which one's which. The bigger time frame trend line is always the most more important one. So this big one from uh, the bottom, but I'm going to keep them both on just for now and then we can clear it up as we go. So these are all the tools you need. Basically, you don't need any other tool, any other tool. You don't need to use any of this shit, basically any of these except for this one. So you can favorite them and then it basically creates you a favorite bar and it, was, it just makes it easier and faster, faster for you to use. So with Fibonacci's, we always, uh, Fibonacci retracement tool, we always favor it from the last significant low point to the last significant high point. And then obviously, if you're looking for a set, uh, if it's in a bearish trend, it'll be from the last significant high to last significant low. Okay. So obviously, we're looking for buys because it's broken up to the upside. So I started there and end it there. And then our golden fib pocket or zone or whatever you want to call it, I call it a golden fib zone, um, is in between the 71% and the 786 right? So, is there a psych level around this area? So you've got 50, um, 1.52 is there, but then we also have 1.5, uh, 1.51, 5, uh, 500 just there as well. So if you go back to Wednesday's video, um, I updated this and I think I said this was the zone that I was looking at. So yeah, let's get a rectangle and we can clearly see there's a massive this liquidity zone right here, this support, right? Look at these wicks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then obviously this happened again. So you guys probably thinking, well, why is he saying that zone? Why is he saying that zone? Because we have to look at what prop past price action that has occurred from this area. So we can clearly see this, this from, when price does come into this zone, it reacts, okay? so. So, 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 basically, what I'm seeing now is this has just made a new higher high compared to this point here. So, higher high, and then we're looking for the higher low for the higher high. You see what I'm saying? So, this is the higher low. Then we take a buy to take it up to the higher high, which would be here, 61.8. Because it's now had a breakout, okay? It's breakout retest. So, what do we have? What are the confluences? We have the 51,500 cycle, um, cycle level, that's one. We have our golden our golden pocket 
our golden fib zone, same thing, whatever you want to call it. So that's two. We have break and retest of this descending trend line, that's three. See, broke, retested it, uh, three. We have this massive support liquidity zone, so that's four. Um, we have an ascending trend line, which is five. And then obviously our candle rate rejection, it will be six reasons to take, a, to take a trade here. So if you want to, um, you can always delete this big trend line if you want to, and just have one, two, three. Uh, that's look, that makes it look a lot cleaner. But as long as you know it's in play, like it doesn't matter if it's on the screen or not. It just it just matters if you know what's going on in the bigger time frame. So this is obviously had not, has now broken out of this um, descending trend line here, okay? Because it's new, it's made a new higher high. Because it was making you know lower low, lower high, equal low, lower high, and now it's made a new um, here. You can see higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. So that's just simple structure, like simple market sentiment, a simple market structure is based on higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs. And we're just uh, utilizing that as as with all the other uh, parts of the strategy to basically take a trade. So you're probably thinking, OK, I understand that, but I don't know where, how, how what to look for for entries. Right, let me just tell you right now. All you've got to look for is rejection candle um, sticks. OK, you're probably thinking what's a rejection candlestick. Rejection candlesticks are uh, ones like this. So we'll get your little notebook out or whatever you got. Spinning tops and dojis show indecision in the market. So you always find these at the highs or at the lows. And then that's basically how you tell price is slowing down and it's going to have a reverse reversal. So like here, price got pushed up. Then you had, you know, uh, doji spinning top, spinning top. And that's on the four hour time frame. So that's 12 hours worth of rejection. And then you had like a shooting star formation to finish it off. So you would have got it. You would have gotten this trade on the third. So with the magic number in, in my strategy is three. So, you know, like one, two, three or one, two. And then obviously that third one here would, is the one you'd have gotten on down here. What happened? Hammer candle, hammer candle, hammer candle, hammer candle, but doji. So that's bad. That's like 20 hours right there. So to answer your question, which I know you have, where, how do I look for entries? You look for, you need to look to read the candlesticks and what the story is telling you okay so i'm gonna be looking for four no three four hour candles okay three four hour candle rejections so you've already had one we had a massive hammer candle now i'll be looking for you know that one two no one two more then to take a buy okay so this is what i'll be looking for go on to the eight hour time frame just to just to clean up a little bit and then i'll be looking for this this is what i'll be looking like buy stop just below here uh, which is a nearly a seven ratio and it's a 525 pip move so yeah if you want the big pips then you gotta you gotta check this out um if you are new here do subscribe do leave a like if you're enjoying the video so far um i just need that support because obviously I'm doing this all free so it'd be good if you guys could you know just let me know if you like it or not um and do subscribe to stick around for more content um so yeah that's eurocad and that's what it's looking like. So basically, I hope you understand what that, how I had my analysis before, and it's literally exact same. And I've just explained it to you. So yeah, that's what I'll be looking for buys um, using my strategy basically. So that's Eurocad. Cool. So you got EURUSD. Um, this is a bit of a swing trade. This one is. So we got obviously it's got, we got a bit of time for this to come back down, but this is just one I added in just so you can see what's going on on um, bigger time frames really. Like this, I just, yeah, I added it in because it's like a swing trade and I wanted to show you swing trade. So let's just clear the chart real quick. <clears throat> Where is it? Cool. So let's go on to the monthly because we always do top down analysis. So that basically, if you don't want top down analysis, is it's basically you just start on the bigger time frame and work your way down. Okay, it's that simple. So what we got, I can clearly see this is making lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high equal low lower high lower low lower high and then obviously we're looking for that lower low okay that follow through with this downtrend okay so that's simple i know that now cool cool and then i can see it's descending trend line one touch two touch three touch this was the third touch so this is the highest probability um, of having a um of it going in your favor so we can clearly see that's in play right so let's go down to the weekly and see what else is going on Okay, I can clearly see there's another trend line in play. So let's start it from the top here. One touch, 
two touch, and this is the third touch, okay? So yeah, you might be like, okay, well, he's put that there. Yeah, so even if this does break up above this last high point, this is still bearish because it's just making a new lower low compared to this. A lower high, sorry. Lower low, lower high, even if it breaks above this this smaller trend line. So it's just a trend within a trend, basically, is what I'm showing you. Okay, let's go on to the daily. Okay, on the weekly, you can clearly see as well. This is what I talk about, candle, candle uh, wicks, telling you the story. Price has come up to the trend line and it's had a massive shooting star on the weekly. So this basically shows me look one two two shooting stars so this shows me like before even knowing anything else this has massive downside potential okay just because of what the candle sticks are telling you okay it's literally that easy to understand that so that is um that's what i'm kind of seeing for the minute but uh, there's also this if you zoom in like uh, daily yeah daily cool so I can I can clearly see that there's where is it? Yeah, here. So one touch here, two touch here. Well, that's like a cluster touch, so I call it cluster. So one touch, two touch. Looking for the third touch, and we can fib it. So fib is always our next thing we do after the trend lines. So there to there, the last significant low to last significant high. Um, if you want to, you can do it. Like people argue, okay, well that well, that's the last significant low. Here, it's a bit subjective. That's what trend lines are. Uh, Fibonacci's are so it's all it's kind of up to you um in that sense and you know some people might have different you know it just it just it's basically what fits best so it's up to you and I can clearly see that there's a site level 1.100 here and this massive structure point so structure what structure previous support and resistance basically so look support support resistance 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 so this will be um, support um, re resistance was resistance broken through now acting in support once more again so that's basically that so you're probably thinking well what, what, what does he want to do I want to see this retracement back into 78.6 for a buy um, this is not my favorite pair um, this trade is not my favorite but it's more of a swing trade so what do we have we have a long position stops just about below the zero one hundred percent and we usually take it up to 61.8 but does that align does it align with the outer trend line no it doesn't so we'd only take it to minus 23 percent so you've got to be able to adapt your strategy to what basically the market's telling you okay that's why i'm saying we will be only taking at the we'll be closing the whole trade out here because the analysis we've done shows us that on a bigger time frame that it probably most likely won't come up to this zone and that's how important it is to look at the big time bigger time frames um and actually make sure we see the real pic the whole picture not just half the picture um which is why i think a lot of people go wrong you know they take they take silly silly trades silly mistakes because they don't actually look at the whole picture okay so in my opinion right let me just clear this up we have this smaller descending trend on in play i don't think it's going to hold up i think this is going to um come back down into this support zone this massive cycle level one um like you can see how important this level is. You can bring it all the way across if you wanted to. All across here. Okay. Support, support, support. Like all over. So basically what I'm saying is I think this is going to come back down, um, respect it, and then it's going to break through up to the minus 23. And then, it, and then the actual downside move will be in play. Because it just adds up. It adds up nicely because this hasn't actually hit this outer trend line. This outer trend line is the big one, not this small one. So that's my opinion. Okay. That's just my opinion. You know if if this doesn't reject this zone here, then I'm not. Be, then it's just gone, and then we're leaving it, and we're going. We move to the next trade. So basically, what I'll be looking for from this zone, I'll be looking for a daily three, uh, three, two or three daily candlesticks rejecting, you know, uh, hammers, spinning tops, or dojis, and then we'll look for a trade because this we need to see there's some significant rejection for us to take a trade here. So yeah, basically that's what I'm seeing. Uh, I think that's going to go that the selling trend line will basically be broken and we can take it up to there uh, to look for a sell. Um, obviously, the overall will be for a sell. So yeah, that's just um, an idea. But as I said, this is, I don't think this is going to happen until probably the end of July because you can you can clearly see where it meets. You can tell, you can kind of predict when it's going to happen. That's why, so, that's why strategy is so cool. So yeah, that's your USD. Um, we have a selling trend line. We have psych level. We have golden fib zone. We have structure, we have uh, 
daily, weekly EMA, daily EMA. Okay, weekly EMA is kind of there. With the weekly EMA as well, kind of. But as I said, I don't really. Um, this is going to be a while. So that's just like a, I was giving you an example of a swing trade. Cool. So now let's go down to GBP CAD and show you a bit more of a day trade. So, you know, as I say, we got to look on the bigger time frame what it's doing on the monthly and the, and, and the weekly. So what's it doing? So we can we can tell it's, it's super bearish, and this is the outer trend line, one touch, two touch. Okay. So is is price anywhere near the line? No. Okay, it's not. So it's kind of irrelevant. So we can just kind of zoom in straight up. Um, and to the daily and see if there's an ascending descending trend line in play. Yeah, one, two, and then we have another one. One, two. Okay. So is price near this? No, just delete it. Um, and let's leave this one on here just so we can see what's going on. So this is the outer trend line, okay, here, and we know what's going on there with that. So let's zoom into the four hour and I can clearly see there's this so this is more of a day trade. Um my strategy can do both and I can do both is what I like to do. So basically what I'm seeing here is this one touch, two touch, looking for the third touch for us to take, us to take a sell here. So if we're on to two hour, it'd be a bit more clearer. So this is what my chart is looking like. You're probably like, okay, a bit confused. Let me explain it for you. So this isn't really relevant right now. So let's just clear the whole chart and I can show you what I'm seeing. You know, well, you know what that means, that, that line. So you've got one touch here. Two touch there to make a trend line if it will go to it. Cool. And now, um, we, the, I favor it from the last significant high to last significant low. Here, last significant high to last significant low, which is there. So let's, for the instance of the video, I'm, I'm assuming that this leg has finished. If this keeps selling off and then it has its retracement, then I'll move this to wherever it finishes, okay? But I'm just doing it for the, for the, uh, for the example. And then obviously we put the fib on it and then we look for a cyclic level within the fib zone. Yeah, we have one just, just there. 1.69 and then we put it nice and neat. And what do we have? We have structure. Look at this, support, 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 broken. Now we retest as resistance. So that's what I'm seeing there. And then um, let's have a little zoom in. So on, we're on the two hour time frame right now. So my strategy works on day trades as well. So I'm looking for that retracement back into our pink zone, back into all our confluences, and then we're looking for the sell if it rejects, and this is what it'll look like. 200 and something pips, 270 pips, I think it says. Bang, 269 pips. So yeah, and then obviously we'll have our stops just above the 100%. What risk to reward is that? 5.7 and, okay, maybe 5.5 if we make it a little bit near. 5. Point six and um, how many pips? 263 pips. So what I'm looking for is basically the retracement into our zone here and then the rejection on the two out three um, two hour rejections. So three candlesticks showing, you know, shooting star, doji, spinning top, something like that. And then that will show the rejection and then we'll get on the trade. So what confidence do we have? We have descending trend line, we have structure previous um, support now acting as resistance to our golden fib zone three site level 1.694 uh, and obviously we have the four hour EMA and the eight hour EMA coming in as well as even the two hour EMA so that's five and then obviously candidate rejection will be six so that's six reasons to take a trade um, so yeah that's really clean really simple and I really like that a lot I like that a lot sorry um, so that's looking good uh, so yeah, that's a quick day trade, that is. Um, that's a GU. That, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. I didn't really have to go into much, too much detail because it just basically explains itself. So um, this is what it looks like, the trade. And you're probably like, okay, I need the explanation. So let me give it to you. Remove. Big time frame, what are we doing? Big time frame. Okay. Zoom out so you know what's going on. Okay. So downtrend, I can clearly see it's the downtrend. So let's stick a descending trend line. You know, uh, this made a new lower, uh, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Bang, you can tell what it is. I can anyway. 
Cool, that's this out to descending trend line. So that's cool, go on to the weekly. And I can see it's not really near that, but there's another one here. One touch, two touch here. Okay. So is price near this? No, it's not. So let's delete it for the minute. Um, because it still needs it still needs to break through this one. So this one is the outer trend line for now. I've gone to the daily. Is there another one? Yep. Cool. There's three touches. Like well, yet again. And let me show you something real quick. Last significant high to last significant low. Pull it across. What happened? Price retrace into our pink uh, gold, um, our golden fib zone perfectly, and now it's going to have its follow through, just like this. And that that's perfect. That's literally like a swing trade in itself. Um, you know, it, we had all the confidences to take a trade there. Um, unfortunately, I didn't see this when on the bigger time frame, so that was my mistake. I'm always learning as well. But I'm just showing you the, the strategy in perfect, in perfect, perfect harmony. Basically, it's just it just worked. So it came up to this 28 level, the psych level came up to 78.6, and it rejected on the. You can clearly see, clearly see the rejection on the daily, and then it had a sell off. So that is that. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm going to jump it. Up. Yeah, I'm, I've seen it late, but I'm still I still can make money off this. So let's zoom in. So that's on the daily, right? Um, and I can clearly see there's an ascending trend line. One touch, two touch here. See. It's been broken. So what am I saying? What am I saying? So basically what I'm seeing is, I'm going to delete the fib because you know it's basically irrelevant now, but I just wanted to show you. Um, go down to the four hour and there's already an ascending trend line. So look, lower low, or this, this is the start, okay? This was the lower high that was created. Then it's to create a new lower low. So it's already created a downtrend because it's made a new structure, okay? So let's go on to the two hour. And see what's going on. So we have this last significant high point. So let's fib it from there to there. And for the purpose of the video, um, I don't know if this has finished this leg, right? This could keep dropping. But for now, let's just say it has finished. So basically what I'll be looking for is price to retrace. We're not going to buy this. We're going to be waiting for the retracement back into our zone. Is there a psych level? Yeah. Yeah, again. 1.25. Right, spack bang right in the middle, and then we'll be looking for the sell. So we're going with trend on this now because it's making even on the bigger bigger time frames, this is making uh, lower lows and lower highs on the daily. So we're just hopping on. So what do we have? We have structure. Yep. Yeah. Look at this support, support. Then it'll support acting as resistance. So there, sweet. So what do we have? Descending trend line, which is one. This one. We got break and retest. Break of this. Um, of this ascending trend, I'll break, retest, touches it, and then it'll sell off. Two, psych level 1.25, three, golden fib zone, four, structure, five, I don't know if I said that already, and obviously candle rate rejection will be six. And obviously we've got the EMA there as well, the eight hour EMA is there, the four hour EMA is there, so that's like multiple confidences to take trade, to take, to take a sell, and um, obviously we just need to wait for the rejection, so let me have a look at what time frame I'll suggest. So this is a 4.7 and it's a 200 or basically a 300 pip move, 290, 284, whatever you want to, however precise you want to be. So I'll be looking for, um, 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 I'll be looking for three, four hour ejections. How can I tell that? Because here, look, four hour time frame. what was it done before? Um, hammer, spinning top, hammer, and then it went off. Okay. And better look down here. So this is this is the kind of formations that I'll be looking for from this from here, and I'll be looking for three of them at least. Okay. So if we see the rejection, then I'll be taking a sell. If we don't see the rejection, then it's invalid, and this can just do this. But there's no point me. Oh, there's no point me telling you. Oh, it's, it could do this or it could do this. I'm just telling you what I think. Not me. I'm just telling you um what I think it could do basically. So something like that, and it's invalid. And if it doesn't reject, then it's invalid. That's basically what I'm saying. But high, the, in my opinion, I think it's going to reject. If it does reject here, then it'll be looking good for a sell. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I think that covers all the pairs. Um, and it covers basically the analysis and how I how I get it. And how you guys should be doing your analysis as well. Um, but, yeah, if you, do, if you want the settings that I have and you want to basically um, have more updates from me, 
and you want to uh, be within my member zone, then you give me a DM on Instagram and I'll basically send you the details. I don't promote it that much um, on my, you know, on like my website and everything because it's quite a closed group. And I don't want to, I don't want to have set, like too many people. So if you want to get involved with that, give me a DM and I'll send you the details. Um, it's really cheap and you get a lot for it. You get a weekly analysis video and you get, um, midweek update and you get updates every day with trade ideas that I'm seeing like just like this but you know it'll be updated so you know there'll be entry zones and all that kind of stuff just to help you and a bit of confidence as well um, because that's what it's about at the end of the day so if you want to get involved with that give me a DM and I'll hook you up with the details if not you can just stick to the YouTube uh, with the four pairs and yeah maybe you can just make some money off that it doesn't really matter to me so yeah, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you have, subscribe and leave a like. Um, and I'll catch you on Wednesday.